heterogeneity refers to the problem uh, that uh, people complain that uh, clinical trials try to say the same thing about everybody. Sometimes people call this one size fits all. And what we, what we seek to discover when thinking about heterogeneity are differences in responses. Not everybody responds to treatments in exactly the same way. Uh, some people may be more responsive or less responsive, or there may be cases where some people are not responsive at all and only a small group of people respond to treatments. And looking, teasing out these differences in response to treatment is what heterogeneity is all about. Ideally, these uh, differences should be prospectively defined. One should decide ahead of time what are the differences that one wants to look at. Uh, but yes, there is a difference, which is that if one wants to know whether or not a particular difference in treatment response is for real and one really cares about it, then that might affect the way one powers a randomized trial. In other words, how many patients one would include in a randomized trial. If one decides ahead of time that a particular subset may be more or less likely to respond to treatment and one really cares about that, then one might factor that into the uh, power calculation and that might make the trial substantially bigger. The biggest pitfall when thinking about heterogeneity is the problem of false positives. Uh, and it's been, this is a, um, uh, a factor that is inherently related to the nature of probability, to the nature of random events. Uh, when one looks for lots of heterogeneous treatment effects, which is what investigators do a lot these days, people find things. And most of the time, these treatment differences are not real. They represent uh, false positive findings that occur uh, merely as a result of, of chance. And so I think that what investigators need to be particularly careful about, and, and perhaps more importantly, what readers and, and uh, consumers of clinical literature need to be particularly careful of is not to overinterpret uh, heterogeneous findings. Uh, until they are robustly tested, they're only a hypothesis. The only way to prevent that from happening is by making trials big enough. If a trial is big enough, then the subsets are big enough. And if the subsets are big enough, then you've got enough power to be able to make some kind of robust conclusion. And the problem, of course, with that is, is that to make studies big enough, we have to pay for them.